Hello, it is Christmas time and I'm sitting here by my TV. I've been watching it very much lately because I'm on a holiday and I've been seeing all those programs about all sorts of things, about Icelandics being very uh, happy about Christmas, very gay and also very serious and spiritual and also seeing Icelandic uh, comic people making jokes, which they are very good at. But now I'm curious. I've, I've, I've switched the t TV off and now I want to see how it operates, how it, how it can, can make, put me into all those weird situations. So it's about time. This is what it looks like. Look at this. This looks like a city, like a little model of a city. And all the houses which are here and streets. This is maybe an elevator to go up, up there. And here are all the wires, these wires. They really take care, take care of all the electrons when they come through here. They, they, they take care of that they are powerful enough to get all the way through here. I read that in a Danish book this morning. And this beautiful television has put me, like I said before, in all sorts of situations. I remember being very scared to it because an Icelandic poet told me that not like in cinemas where um, the thing that, that um, throws the, the picture from it uh, just sends lights on the screen. But, but this is different. This is uh, millions and millions of little screens who, who send uh, light on you, um, some sort of uh, uh, electrical light. I'm not really sure. But because there's so many of them, and in fact, you're watching very, very many frames when you're watching TV. You, your head is very busy all the time to, to um, calculate and put it all together into one picture. And, and then, because you're so busy doing that, you don't watch very carefully what, what the program that you're watching is really about. So you become hypnotized. So all that's on TV, it just goes directly into your brain and you stop judging if it's right or not. So you just swallow and swallow. This is what an Icelandic poet told me once. And I became so scared to television that I always got headaches when I watched it. But then later on, when I got my Danish book on television, I stopped being afraid because I, I read the truth. And that's um, the scientific truth, which is much better. You shouldn't let poets lie to you.